Automated vehicles are the next step in a century-long vision for independent mobility for all. Vehicles that can transport with advanced technologies and programming will revolutionize the way we travel, how goods and services are delivered, and how we work and play. It's really the most significant uh, redefinition of the car since Henry Ford. You know, the notion of not having a driver, but instead having the car be able to, to automatically, autonomously bring you from place to place, changes everything we expect about cars. The National Highway Transportation Safety Administration has defined levels of automation based on the amount of authority the driver can shift to the vehicle. With level zero, no automation, the vehicle can sense potential conflicts, but does not act on behalf of the driver. Level one allows the operator to temporarily cede control of speed or side-to-side -side movement, but not simultaneously. Level two includes two or more of the features included in level one working in unison, allowing the driver to cede an increased level of authority to the vehicle. In theory, the driver could take their hands off the wheel and feet off the pedal simultaneously. However, the driver is expected to be available for control at all times with little or no advanced warning. Level 3 allows the driver to cede complete control of safety functions to the vehicle in limited situations for a limited time. The driver is expected to be available for control, but with sufficient time to adapt to the driving situation. Level 4 allows the driver to cede complete control of the vehicle to the vehicle for the entirety of a trip. Drivers could operate the vehicle from the back seat or remotely. However, this level of automation is still years, if not decades, from reality. Car manufacturers offer various levels of automation for safety and convenience as advanced driver assist systems. Some manufacturers already offer level 2 automation technologies on their premium models. The fact that Florida has such a high population of retirees and also millennials in the student population, it's an ideal, ideal state and an ideal environment for accelerating these tremendous capabilities. Summit's discussions and active collaboration among planners, engineers, private industry, academia, economists, and many more are currently taking place in Florida. As the second state in the nation with legislation to test on public roadways, Florida is putting groundbreaking research and development to the test. With more than 30,000 traffic fatalities each year in the U.S., the majority of which are attributed to human error, the development and testing of automated vehicles to provide for a safer driving experience is quite literally life-changing. The state of Florida has been one of the leaders in, in, in uh, this field because it, it realized uh, uh, very early in the game that uh, one has to have the opportunity to uh, develop these vehicles and the, that opportunity means the ability for these vehicles to uh, learn how to fit into the existing traffic flows. I think at our seaports it's going to speed transportation uh, from ship to shore and uh, get things to market quicker and I think that's obviously very beneficial to, to all forms of transport. The level of safety and efficiency that they will bring to the everyday driver is unprecedented. Mobility and accessibility are essential for independent living, and efficient transportation options are key in maintaining and enhancing quality of life. Florida currently leads the nation in aging populations, with projections that in 2030, over 25% of the population will be over the age of 65. The economic effects of increasing the efficiency and extending operation time of freight movement at maximum levels 24 hours a day, seven days a week, will revolutionize commerce. Vehicles on the road will be more efficient in their activity, reducing redundant driving and putting less stress on transportation infrastructure. But this progress won't be automatic. Join the conversation today.